Hello and welcome to Whole Astrology. I'm Astrology Patricia, also known as the Neptune Girl Wearing Space Bits. And we're going to be talking about the natal fifth house sun. Yeah, we're to house number five now. And before I get into this, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and you can also make a donation if you want to support this channel. So the fifth house sun is probably the most fun out of all the suns because the fifth house is naturally ruled by Leo. And <clears throat> Leo is about fun. It's about recreation. It's about the way we entertain ourselves. It's also <laughs> love affairs. And the downside of the fifth house is it can be very competitive. Say you're an actor and you go to an audition and you're competing against other actors, obviously. Um, but it, it can be competition. It can be fun competition, too. It could be games. It could be sports. But it's basically the way that we entertain ourselves. Um, the fifth house is considered the lightest house, I think, of all the zodiac houses, where the eighth house is probably the darkest one. So having the sun in the house that is naturally <clears throat> ruled by Leo, and Leo is the ruler of the sun, <clears throat> is actually considered having a well-placed sun. In a chart, especially if it's in flowing aspect with other planets. If it's in a square or oppositions, T cross, uh, grand square, um, yod, things like that, that will offset the pleasantness. Also, having Saturn in the fifth house can kind of put a damper on anything that's fun or recreation. There might be some guilt involved and things like that. But the sun itself in the fifth house is. A strong placement. It's somebody that is fun. They may not take life seriously, though. That's the dark side. It may be somebody that flirts a lot, has a lot of affairs, doesn't settle down, has a lot of fickle friendships. So that's the downside of having the natal fifth house. But other than that, it's a very creative sun because the sun is about creativity. It has a strong outward, extroverted, yang energy. <clears throat> Again, this is the really good placement, especially if there's a really strong 10th house placement as well for a performer, an actor, a musician. It's also really good for athletes, especially so celebrity athletes or celebrities of any kind to have a 5th house sun is, is beneficial. It's very supportive, again, of the creative types of um, endeavors. It also rules children. So this is the house where if you have a sun in this house, if you have Venus in the house as well, and if you have Venus, Mars, and the sun in this house, then you will most likely have more than one child. You may have an actual big family with a lot of children because of the, the rulership there. And the other thing, too, is it may be that your children also have their son in the fifth house. And then you would have a special relationship with those children. You might do creative things together. You may be an athlete, and the child is also an athlete. So then there's that connection that happens there. So definitely this is the fun house. It's playful. It's creative. It's the heart. Um, so if you have the sun in the fifth house, it's not a health house, but still you would want to take good care of your heart, Make sure that you're, you know, that's more of the sixth house, really, the eating healthy and having the daily uh, rituals and things like that. So this is going to be a really short video. It's under four minutes. But the fifth house, it's a really good placement for the sun. It's the best placement for the sun, I would say, in the whole zodiac, especially if you also have your sun in Leo or a fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. But if you also have it in Gemini, um, what is it, <laughs> Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, that bodes well too. I mean, you can have your son in any sign in the fifth house, but for the most pleasant, the most um, joyous, the air and the fire signs do really well there. So that is my take on this. Again, if you like this, share, comment, uh, subscribe, make a donation. And if you want, I also teach classes. You can sign up for a private, you know, private lessons so that you can learn astrology for yourself or your friends, or maybe you want to eventually go on to be a professional, although I don't do professional training or anything like that with astrology. I'm just giving you the basics and helping you be able to read your chart and a chart of your friends and family. So thanks. Have a wonderful day. Blessings and namaste.